What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Hey listen, when do you know that you're ready to upgrade? What should I be feeling inside, Joe? How do I know I'm ready to go to the left seat, take command of this ship? That's what I wanna to address today, okay? And this comes up sometimes, frequently in training. A few questions come, particularly when I do the instructor train the trainer course, I address this because a concept gets addressed there, which is called the competence ladder. So here comes the answer to your question in a nutshell, and then I'm gonna expand on it, okay? How do I know when I'm ready to upgrade? Well, how competent and proficient do you feel doing the normal day-to-day -day tasks of operating your airplane in the operating environment that you're operating in, okay? So let me say that again. How proficient and competent do you feel doing your normal day-to-day? -day? This means flows, checklist responses, call-outs. How do you feel loading a flight plan in the FMS? How do you feel with a route revision? How do you feel with the, what a flight attendant briefing is supposed to sound like? How do you feel with your checklist responses, your standard operating procedures? How comfortable do you feel when you get in a clearance from ATC to proceed direct to a point, to intercept an airway, to be cleared for the approach, whether ILS or RNAV or non-precision? Like, how comfortable do you feel operating the jet and then how comfortable do you feel operating in the surrounding operating environment of 121? In other words, do you have an understanding of when an amendment is needed? Do you have an understanding of how to handle a gate return? How to handle a reroute? When would I need to contact dispatch? When would I need to get the flight attendants involved on, on a certain scenario that's unfolding? And so the reason I bring this up is because ultimately in the role of the captain in the left seat, okay, um, primarily, you, one of the primary roles here, and the reason you get paid more money, of course, is because you're the pilot in command. And with that comes responsibility. And with re responsibility comes leadership, your ability to lead effectively, and your ability to gather information effectively to make decisions effectively, right? So ultimately, you're the tip of the spear, the decision maker. And how effective you are at making decisions is very much uh, tied with how much mental bandwidth, how much capacity do you have to intake and onboard new information in the surrounding environment around you. And your ability to do that is directly tied to how competent and proficient you feel operating the airplane. Why? It brings me to the four-step competent ladder, okay? The first step of this on the level one is unconscious incompetence. I'm gonna go through all of them quick and then I'll break each down in detail. Second step, conscious incompetence. Third step, conscious competence. Fourth step, unconscious competence. What does this simply mean? Here's what it means. On level one, you don't know what you don't know. This is usually day one in NDOC where you showed up and you're not sure what you're getting yourself into unless, of course, you prepared with your friends here at One Step Prep. Then you go to the second step, which is conscious incompetence. You now know what you don't know. So on the first step, I don't know what I don't know. On the second step, I know what I don't know and therefore I can grow. On the third step, conscious competence. This is where usually you're gonna to start to spend some hours as an FO operating in this field of conscious competence. It is what it sounds like. You are competent, assuming you are 100% consciously focused on the task at hand. I can perform my flows, checklists, callouts. I can do a, 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 a comply with an ATC clearance, but I, it, it, it takes 100% of my bandwidth and my mental focus and energy to be compliant. I cannot do a flow and talk about dinner at the same time. I can't load an FMS and be thinking about anything other than exactly what it is because otherwise, it, basically you can't chew gum and walk at the same time. It's like you're trying to tie your shoe when you're five and mom and dad ask you what you want for lunch and you're like, I, I can't answer you that I want a hot dog because I'm busy doing my bunny ears, okay? So this is that level where at this point, if this is where you're operating, you are not yet ready to upgrade, right? You wanna to get to this fourth level where you are competent unconsciously. Remember, the fourth and highest level is unconscious competence. I am competent unconsciously. I can do flows and think about what's for dinner, okay? To put it simply, I can do a task and think about other tasks because I have the mental bandwidth to do so. And the only way to elevate up the ladder, there's one way, which is repetition, which basically comes in the form of experience, just getting out there on the line, flying, and also preparation, because I always say what you lack in experience can be to some extent made up for with some preparation. So staying in the books, staying studio, uh, studious, joining us for the elite membership is a great way to do this, staying plugged into our videos year round, staying sharp, and on your game, okay, is gonna help elevate you up the ladder combined with experience and ultimately reps. Repetition is finally gonna put you in a position where you can kind of self-reflect, stay highly self-aware of yourself and say, hey, am I able to carry out the normal day-to-day -day things to the point of predictability? I can predict how things are going to unfold and unravel and how things are gonna happen. When, when, when you start to get to this level where you are sitting in the right seat but you're thinking as a left seater, you're thinking as a captain, Right? When issues come up, 
it's not that you're going to take over the captain role, but I very much would advise that you take on that mindset of how would I handle this right now? Don't just look to them and say, well, good luck. You know, it's your decision. It's a lot easier to do that from the right seat just to look over and say, huh, good thing I don't have to deal with it. But, but when you're looking at upgrading, deal with it. Even if it's just mentally, right? How would I handle this? And as I said earlier, how you handle something, the effectiveness of your decision and the result and the outcome is directly tied to how effective of an information gatherer you are before you execute on anything. And the only way to gather information accordingly is to be in a position to receive. And the only way you're going to be in a position to receive is if you have the mental bandwidth and capacity to be a receiver. But when you are so focused on a task, because it's occupying every, every ounce of your capacity to do this task, you're not a receiver in that moment. In fact, you're more of a resistor. You're like, I don't want to hear anything. In fact, I can't onboard anything new because I'm so focused on this. And so how do I know when I'm ready to upgrade, Joe? When you have an understanding to the point in the experience level and you feel the confidence level, not just the competence, but the confidence level to operate your machine nearly on an unconscious level and operate in the surrounding environment, in this case, I'm talking 121 airline environment that has its own slew of things that go with it, amendments and dispatchers and uh, things like this, fuelers, gate agent, flight attendant, cabin crew, all these things. When you feel competent and most importantly also confident in your competence in that environment, operating your machine and operating in the environment, that's when I would start to venture to say, hey, it's time to look at potentially upgrading. And also remember, as you move and elevate up this realm of, hey, I'm going to go to the left seat, your role now becomes leadership. And of course, that is the truth too, also in the FO seat. But more so as a captain, when you're wearing your four stripes, you're the tip of the spear, you are absolutely the leader of the vessel, you are the leader, and, and leaders see more and see before everyone else so that you can guide appropriately. And your effectiveness in doing that is also directly related to, as I said earlier, how much you can tolerate, how much information you can get, gather to ultimately maintain a high level of situational awareness of the whole operation. So hopefully this answers that. If you're looking to upgrade, you want to set up some time here with us to get you prepared for that, whether that means booking time in a sim, booking ground school, booking a coaching call with myself, which you can do on our website. However, we can serve you best. We want to do that. Maybe it's a video course, onestepprep.com. You know where to find us. Juan and Joe, your friends in training program success here in Miami. We'll see you in another video.